for somebody who lost three brothers and a sister in less than two years. I find the Eastertide very comforting and consoling. Easter is a feast that encourages us to look for new beginnings in what appear to be dead ends. Easter teaches us to expect signs of new life at the very moment when all seems lost. The women went to the tomb expecting a meeting with death. Instead, they were met with an angel who declared that the one who had died had risen. The women were filled with awe and great joy. A transformation had taken place in their lives. Their expectations were shattered. God had stepped into their lives and had done much more than they could have ever imagined. God steps into our lives also in our time of sadness and sorrow. After we had buried my brother Jerry, we went for a meal to a local hotel. And towards the end of the meal, my nephew said, I'd like to go to dad's grave before it gets dark. And everybody sitting around the table said, we'd like to go too. By the time we got there, it was already dark. The only light we had was the torchlight from our iPhones. About 20 to 30 of us stood around the grave and I said, I'd like to lead you in a decade of the rosary. Then a priest friend of theirs led us in another decade. And then one of his sons, my nephew said, ma'am, would you like to say a decade? And when she had finished, one of the grandchildren, a 10 year old, crowed up, could the grandchildren lead a decade? And immediately they all joined in leading us in the rosary. After her niece had said the final decade, she invited her mother to lead us in the family prayer and every one of them joined in. At this stage, God had stepped into my life, giving me great comfort and consolation as I thought, Jury, you together with Annie May, his wife, have passed on to your children and your grandchildren the greatest gift of all, the gift of faith, the gift of prayer. For me, this was indeed a resurrection experience. The light of Christ was shining through the darkness in our lives. My nephew said as we came away, how can anyone live without faith? Another light had shone for me. Easter reveals and celebrates a God who is in love with life, a God who continually brings new life out of all our deaths, who is constantly at work to turn our graves, our tombs, into signs of hope and places of fresh life. Lord, for your faithful people, life is changed, not ended. We are sharers in the resurrection of Christ. Easter teaches us that because God is at work among us, even our most bitter disappointments can contain the seeds of new beginnings. And even our most painful experiences can be life-giving for ourselves and for others. We've all shared to some extent in that sad journey of the women to the tomb in the half light. These experiences can leave us drained of energy and enthusiasm. They can take many forms, the pain of bereavement, the agony of personal failure, a decline in health, old age. Easter assures us that God can work even in such dark places. God is constantly at work in our lives, 
bringing life out of death, transforming seeming dead ends into doorways to life. I hope you are all experiencing the presence and the power of God in your lives at this difficult time. God bless you all and let us pray for each other. Amen.